author and activist Helen Keller wrote, walking with a friend in the dark is better than walking alone in the light. We come together from near and far to celebrate our graduating students as they complete the final steps on this part of their educational journey. We celebrate their accolades and achievements, their contributions and connections, their patience and perseverance, their resilience and resolve. We celebrate these and all of their family, friends, faculty and staff who have walked with them on their journey. Welcome to all of our 2021 masters and doctoral candidates. I know that this virtual on-demand ceremony was not your or our first choice. Certainly, we wanted to be together, sharing each other's company and sharing in the joy of your experience. But this virtual on-demand ceremony provides the greatest health benefit to our community while also allowing you to share this special moment with the people that you love your family and friends. And that is really what's most important. There's nothing more important than the health and safety of our students and their families. The faculty, staff, and students, and all of our graduates have been absolutely magnificent during this COVID pandemic. Amidst anxiety, life-altering challenges, and behaviors, enormous difficulties. You've all acted with forethought and courage. You've acted with diligence and a desire to protect the health and safety of every individual. You have accomplished some great things. And amidst all of that, you've also reached a most important milestone. Perhaps this milestone is even more significant given the immense challenges that each and every one of you have faced both in your studies, but also in your lives. Allow me to be the first to salute your achievement, your diligence, your character, and your perseverance. The families of today's graduates have supported and loved you through every step of the journey, through good times and bad, and in countless ways, they've nurtured your success on this most important day. So for this, and so much more. Thank you to all the families of our graduates. I'd also like to salute our outstanding faculty. They've taught and mentored you. They've helped you reflect and act. They've helped you engage, not just with your studies, but with your future and your careers. And they never, never allow you to stop learning about this incredible world. So to our faculty, we thank you. And finally, our dedicated staff, who through great effort and passion serve as educators and role models for our students, making this Maryville community a very special place. There's one more group of people whose devotion and service to Maryville requires special mention, and that's our Board of Trustees. These men and women generously give of their time, their talent, and their treasure for the advancement of Maryville on all fronts. And to our Board of Trustees, we say thank you. Finally, we have a number of our graduates, our alumni, our family and friends who are or who have actively served as members of the United States Armed Forces. Since December 7, 1941, these men and women have defended this country and gave their all. And to our veterans, we say thank you. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night 
that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you, Lizzie, for singing the national anthem so beautifully. Lizzie is an aspiring teacher studying in our School of Education. Good evening, cohort 31. And good evening to your friends and to your families. My name is Kevin Stokes, and I'm the program director for our pre-K through 12 leadership courses in the School of Education at Maryville University. I should like to welcome you and your families and friends to this convocation ceremony. On behalf of Keith, Kathy, and Jack, I would like to congratulate all of you on your many achievements as you have progressed through your seven or 10 semesters here at Maryville. Looking at you on the screen this evening, I can see the joy and relief that you have made it to this magnificent moment. You should be proud of yourselves, and I'm sure that those with you today and those watching from near and far are cheering loudly for you. I think it's safe to say that when you attended your first classes in January of 2019, you assumed that Monday evenings for seven semesters would include a journey to and from Maryville's campus. You anticipated that you would be sitting in a classroom with a professor who would be leading you through your work. Little did any of us know how different teaching and learning would become from March 2020. Neither did we perhaps realize the benefits that would come from working in a virtual world, in our pajamas, and learning the language of Zoom. You're muted. We can't hear you. I'm going to put you in a breakout room. It's kind of like I'm going to help you escape from Alcatraz. The determination that you have shown to complete your doctorate in education under these circumstances, whilst balancing the many new demands being placed upon you at school, your life with your families and friends, is to be both admired and applauded. As a cohort, you rallied together to ensure that all of you would reach this moment today. No student was left behind in cohort 31. In a little while, you will be hooded, and you will be able to strut your stuff in all of your regalia as a doctor of education. I have to tell you that this is not the end, but the beginning of the next phase of your professional life. The title doctor brings with it great responsibility and never more so than now. In 1734, Alexander Pope, an English poet, you might know I would have to bring a little England to the proceedings, he wrote, hope springs eternal in the human breast. As we move forward for, into the remainder of 2021 and beyond, I am sure that we all have many hopes for the post-pandemic years to come, both personal and professional. As doctors of education in educational leadership, you are duty bound to ensure that your hopes propel you into action to lead our schools to serve the needs of our students, their families and communities even better than before. I believe 
that in daring to hope, you have the determination, courage, and compassion to ensure that we look forward and consider the changes that must be made in our education systems based upon what we have learned in the last year. I believe that in daring to hope, you will make decisions that will push our schools forward in creating new ways for young people to be learners. I believe that these hopes will propel you to act decisively and rapidly to make them a reality. I know that you have created a powerful Cohort 31 network, and I hope that together you will be propelled to take advantage of the post-pandemic opportunities to ensure that all children in and around the Greater St. Louis area, and as far beyond as possible, have the best opportunities in their PK through 12 experiences. You have developed a powerful collective voice of hope. Use it every day. As President Obama said, hope is that thing inside us that insists, despite all the evidence to the contrary, that something better awaits us if we have the courage to reach for it and to work for it and to fight for it. So let us take a moment to think about the individuals in cohort 31. First, we have Angie, who will continue to work tirelessly to support those students who are most at risk in our systems. There is Amy, who believes that she was born a soldier to fight for what her students need to be successful. Ashley and Colleen have both inspired their cohort and the vast majority of their colleagues on this journey want them on their leadership teams because of the inspiration and common sense that exudes from them. Then there is Craig, who in his new role as a principal is determined to challenge his teachers to be the best that they can be. Three of the cohort demonstrated their determination to gain this doctorate by committing to 10 semesters at Maryville. And I am sure that Dan, Katie and Sarah will continue to use that determination to ensure that their students' needs are met every day. Central Office awaits Joe as he continues to aspire to be the best educator and administrator that he can be and June, whose wealth of experience working in our urban schools contributed so much to the breadth of understanding that this cohort gained about the needs of the students she serves every day. We are incredibly proud of you and full of hope for what you will achieve now that you are about to become doctors of education in educational leadership. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Michelle Shappy, Dean of the School of Education, who will lead your hooding ceremony. It is my honor as your dean to call your names as we celebrate your accomplishment. As a reminder, when I call your name, your video will go live and take over the screen so that we may all see you receive your hood. Please have your friends or family members on standby ready to place your hood once your video appears on the screen so that we may celebrate together. June E. Berry.
There are so many people that I am grateful to for their support while completing this program. Thanks to my daughters, Jasmine and Jada, for giving me the motivation needed to continue to dream big. Thanks to my parents, James and Missouri, for their dedication to our family and their continued words of wisdom. Thanks to my circle of friends and family and my study pal, Leo, who believed in me and never doubted my ability to succeed. To the Maryville instructors, I appreciate your guidance throughout this program. Congratulations to Cohort 31. I wish you good luck and success in the future. Amy A. Blackwell. Hello, this is Amy Blackwell, and I would like to send a big thank you out to Dr. Kinder, Dr. Stokes, um, Dr. Bear, all my professors at Maryville University for making my educational dreams finally come true. Um, I would also like to thank my family um, and all my colleagues who supported me through this time. Um, but we're at the end here, and I look forward to what this opportunity is going to bring. Thank you. Sarah Davidovis. I would like to thank my husband, Todd, for all of his support and encouragement over the past three and a half years during Maryville's program. I would like to thank my six children, Moshe, Akiva, Abigail, Yisrael David, Atara, and Yitzi for their support. I'd like to thank my parents and my sister, Rachel. I would also like to thank my colleagues in cohort 31 and the professors in Maryville's EDD program who have made my learning so meaningful. Finally, I'd like to thank Scott Crooks, the assessment and data coach with Special School District who assisted me with my doctoral thesis on dyslexia and reading interventions. Thank you all. Joseph Michael DeNoyer. First, I want to thank my family, Grandma Ruthie. I wouldn't be here today if not for you. Um, I want to thank my son, Alex, and my sister, Sarah, uh, Brandon, Barr, Madison, and Shane O'Dell. Thank you so much for all your support. Uh, thank you to the amazing Maryville professors who taught and developed me on this wonderful journey. Dr. Kinder, Dr. Bear, Dr. Williams, Dr. Compton, Dr. Dan, and Mr. Eustad. You've all been such a pleasure to learn from and share Monday evenings with. Thank you as well to my mentor, Dr. Matheson, and all the great district educators in the Parkway School District who helped make my internship and classes a success. Uh, to all of you, thank you. Craig Lewis Edwards. I wanted to share this video to say thank you uh, to all of the staff and faculty at Maryville University, in particular, our professors. Uh, in particular, honorable mention to Dr. Kinder, um, to, my, uh, to my advisor, Dr. Jack Williams, uh, to my mentor, Evelyn, Dr. Evelyn Woods, and to all of our professors. Um, I also wanna say thank you to my family, uh, mother and father, father-in-law, mother-in-law, all of our church members, um, and especially to my wife, Veronica, uh, our children, Naomi, Jonathan, and Isaiah. Uh, also want to give special mention, special, special mention to Cohort 31. Love you guys and will always treasure you. Colleen Fields. The first round of thanks goes to my family and my friends who are my family. Thank you for your love and support and patience during this process. To my incredible cohort of people who inspired me and challenged me and reminded me to laugh, I'll miss spending Monday nights with you. 
to our professors who graced us with their wisdom. Thank you for helping us become better leaders. To my colleagues at Lafayette High School, my administrative team who challenge me every day and inspire me to become a better leader. To our students who remind me why this work is so very important. And to all my role models and those who have gone before me, thank you for helping me reach this goal. Ashley Mayer. Thank you to my cohort and my professors who during a time that educational platforms have demanded involvement, you all did it so well with grace, compassion, and educational rigor. Thank you to the female colleagues who have come before me that have shown me that balancing a career and our educational goals while maintaining a family, it can all be done and it can be done well. Thanks to my parents who always made me feel supported. I appreciate that you have always told me that I can do anything. I feel it at 36. And thank you to my husband who has taken over dinners, bath times, and parental support on Monday nights while still making me feel proud of everything I'm accomplishing. I love you. Daniel S. Murphy. Thank you, Robert and Laura Murphy, for teaching me to love learning. Thank you to my grandparents, the Bennetts, for also instilling in me a love for books. And my grandmother, Wilmetta Murphy, for teaching me to love. Thanks to my brothers for always being on my side. My sister-in-laws for being wonderful additions to our family. I love my nieces to pieces. And I love Finney and miss him so much. And I've thought about him a lot through this entire process. Thank you to Melanie Murphy for never questioning whether I could do this. And thank you to my boys, Liam, Henry, and Shaw for still loving me even when I was grouchy or behind. Thank you to the teachers that have taught me and thank you to my cohort members. Angela O'Brien. I'd like to thank my husband, Steve O'Brien. Steve, thank you for being patient and supportive. You are my rock. Mom and Dad, I wouldn't even know where to start to say thank you, but we all know I would not be here if it weren't for you guys and for the lessons you taught me and the values you taught me. I want to thank my kids, Skylar and Parker, for believing in me and always being my cheerleaders. Thank you. Katherine Robeson. Hi, mom and dad. I did it. Uh, I just want to say thank you for loving me and supporting me and always being my biggest fan. I've, I've been able to go on so many adventures and do so many things and follow my dreams because I knew you would love and support me through anything. And I am so thankful and blessed that God chose you for my parents. To my classmates, thank you for sharing a little bit of yourselves every Monday. I've learned so much from each and every one of you. and. I can't wait to see what we do next. To our professors, thank you for your flexibility and allowing us to grow into the leaders we were meant to be. Um, I will always talk highly of the Maryville program and I am just really excited for this next chapter in my life, so. At this time, Sherry Fister, our Vice President for Academic Affairs will confer your degrees. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and upon the recommendation of the Maryville University faculty, I confer upon you the appropriate degrees as have been completed or will be completed and invest in you all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. On behalf of everyone at Maryville University, I hope that you've enjoyed this celebration of your achievement. We want you to stay in touch with us and share with us all your future accomplishments 
and to bring your expertise back to, Mar to Maryville School of Education as its alumni. We will miss you on Monday evenings and think of you taking that evening to relax and enjoy yourselves. Congratulations, Cohort 31. According to philosopher and spiritual teacher, the Buddha, health is the greatest gift, contentment the greatest wealth, faithfulness the best relationship. As we conclude this celebration, we send you forth with the following blessings. May you have success and fulfill your career ambitions. May you have strength to overcome all obstacles. And may you have health, living a long and happy life. May you have family and friends, faithful companions on your journey. And may you have contentment, the only wealth that gives you peace. Congratulations, Maryville graduates.